ಜಲಕ್ಷಮ ಹವಾಮಾನ ವೈಪರೀತ್ಯ ಇಂಧನ ಮೊದಲಾದಂತಹ ಜಾಗತಿಕ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ ಕೇಂದ್ರವು ಪರಿಹಾರ ಸೂಚಕ ಕೇಂದ್ರವಾಗಿದೆ ಎರಡು ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ಕಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಕಾಲಘಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದುವೇ ಟಿ ಎ ಪೈ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಬಹುದಾದಂತಹ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾಂಜಲಿ ಎಂದು ಸೆಲ್ಕೋ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಲೈಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಥಾಪಕ ಮತ್ತು ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹರೀಶ್ ಹಂದೆ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯವನ್ನ ಪಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಣಿಪಾಲದ ಟಿ ಎ ಪೈ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಮಾಹೆ ವಿವಿ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿದಂತಹ ಸ್ಥಾಪಕರ ದಿನದಂದು ಮೂವತ್ತೊಂದನೆಯ ಟಿ ಎ ಪೈ ಸ್ಮಾರಕ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸವನ್ನ ನೀಡಿ ಅವರು ಮಾತನಾಡಿದರು finance insurance logistics storage information he was instrumental in the launch of new program pgdm hrm an extremely kind and helpful person and an administrator since 2018 she has been the controller of examination you all know it's an extremely important role and more so during covid times she is a trained singer and spends a lot of time in meditation in office where she single handedly performs an almost impossible task of shedding and over the years when you when you look at today's world uh, 2022 post not post in the middle of the pandemic most of the work that dr t a pai did or said is extremely relevant today of how do we recover from the pandemic across the world very simple example i'll start with uh, the 1973 Iran crisis when there was an embargo and the suddenly the oil prices actually went up the americans the russians the europeans everybody went into a huddle of what to do with the iran crisis right i mean the oil prices were going up a small intervention was happening in manipal of how do you finance biogas in 1973 in parts of india we still talk about biogas as if it is today's technology it happened in 1973 here with the last two years of climatic conditions the floods in india the fires in california the desertification of australia the flooding in europe the heat waves in alaska you know the polar bears are migrating from united states to russia something is happening but what we are not as a mass scale the biggest tribute that we can give to dr t a pai is not about what he did how do we scale up what he did how do we propel the processes of financing the thought process of what he actually thought about multiple times so it actually affects the 5 billion poor people in the world i'm not talking of the rich but i'm talking of the poor which he actually meant the creation of inclusiveness that he thought about in syndicate bank was inclusion right so the point today for example if you look at today's newspaper in the last two years of pandemic 10 billionaires tripled their earnings in the last two years and 160 million people went into poverty how did this happen on two ends and manipal in many way was the bridge to break that myth if you look at the creation of the colleges whether you talk of dapmi whether you talk of mit whether you talk over the medical college whether you talk of ngos like bharatiya vikas trust was to create an inclusive society for the world which actually does not go into this disparity that during pandemic with 160 million people going into poverty and 10 billionaires actually tripling their income later mr t p i joined the syndicate bank in 1943 as deputy manager after holding several positions in the bank and being the general manager from 1944 to 1961 he rose to become the managing director his stewardship of the bank is credited with number of achievements the fastest growth pioneering schemes innovation in mobilization of small savings agricultural financing and focus on the common man he was then appointed as the chairman of food corporation of india in 1965 after a little over a year he rejoined syndicate bank and was appointed as its chairman by him and they died one year later after it started as manipal institute of management 
Later, the name has been changed after his death in memory of TAFI to TAPI, TAFI Memorial Institute. TAPI was a very versatile person with Medas touch, you know. Whatever he touched used to become gold. He was a very dynamic and innovative banker, astute administrator, and a very, very successful politician, as already been told. Now, as far as the banking is concerned,